Ok, bravo, tu prends la place de Alpha. Allez, Davai. Allez, 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 allez. Alpha, tu fais quoi Alpha, tu fais quoi Alpha, tu fais quoi Alpha, tu fais quoi On participe à l'exercice polonais Dragon 24. C'est un exercice national polonais auquel certaines nations de l'OTAN, membres de l'OTAN, ont été invitées, la France en faisant partie. L'exercice consiste en trois phases. Un déploiement logistique depuis la France, un déploiement technique et tactique sur le théâtre, qui s'est déroulé depuis notre arrivée le 21 février jusqu'à il y a deux jours, dans lequel on a eu une phase de franchissement de coupure humide, de la Vistule, une marche à l'ennemi de 300 km, Là, on attaque la dernière phase, qui est la phase de, on va dire, campagne de tir. Il y a un exercice de tir interarme, interarmé et interallié. La partie blindée, on ne l'a pas fait depuis 1996. Là, on le fait en interarmé et en multinational, donc c'est d'autant plus intéressant pour nous. Et d'un point de vue plus bas, à l'échelle de mon unité, ça permet de pousser nos engins dans leur retranchement. Faire 300 km d'affilée avec un char de bataille, c'est pas commun. On entre dans une nouvelle ère, en fait. Enfin, Jusqu'à maintenant, on était dans une ère d'assez basse intensité, où on avait un rapport de force qui était systématiquement à notre avantage. Aujourd'hui, avec le retour d'expérience des événements actuels partout dans le monde, on est entré dans une nouvelle phase où on va se concentrer sur la haute intensité. Au lieu d'avoir un combat du fort au faible, on va avoir un combat du fort au fort, avec les mêmes capacités technologiques, les mêmes, euh, les mêmes structures, avec euh, parfois euh, où nous on va être mis en déséquilibre. Donc euh, oui, ça se ressent dans nos entraînements et, et oui, euh, on prend en compte tout le panel des menaces qui s'offrent, euh, mais que ce soit depuis 2022 comme depuis euh, 5 à 6 ans sur d'autres euh, sur d'autres territoires. Yeah, so X-Tries Dragon, uh, we brought the battalion, we are an infantry battalion. Uh, so we have two infantry uh, companies with one armor company, which is tanks. Uh, and what we're doing uh, here during this exercise is lots of things, uh, starting with the Vistola River. We did a river crossing uh, uh, at, down at that town, and then we came up to here to do live fire training. So while we're here, we're doing a lot of interoperability training, uh, learning how other nations uh, in NATO fight uh, and then how we can fight together uh, to, to be better as a, as a organization. So everything we do, we fight as a team. Uh, we're never going to fight by ourselves. And having such a strong alliance that we have Uh, and actually seeing all these nations being here uh, is absolutely important for us to see how we can fight, how our equipment talks to each other and how we work together. But it is absolutely important to fight uh, as an alliance. And uh, it's just been a great experience for everybody. So in the, when training in the U.S., uh, you're only with the other American units. So we understand the equipment. Uh, all of our equipment works together very well. Uh, but then when we you know, come and train with all these different uh, partners that we have, uh, You have to get creative. How do we talk to each other? How do we communicate? How do we use their equipment? 
at how do we use our equipment to get the uh, the end state that we're looking at is just uh, being a really good force and a really good alliance. The strongest military alliance, uh, even today on the 25th anniversary of Poland joining NATO, being part of that ceremony today shows you how strong the bond is. Uh, and it does exactly what we're supposed to do. We're deterring aggression. Uh, we're here doing that. And then as we're doing that, you know, the world knows how strong we are. So. That alliance alone and NATO coming together and showing what we can do is absolutely important for, what the, for the world uh, and for Europe, absolutely. My battle group is composed of different enforcement, not uh, belonging on my command post and two uh, AFV uh, companies coming from my regiment. But so I'm also enforced with the 7th uh, Armed Brigade, French Army, uh, different elements, one uh, Leclerc uh, tank company uh, and also one combat engineers and some logistical enforcement. It's very important for the French land forces to work with the other NATO uh, armies because uh, it allowed us to uh, discover new kind of terrain uh, east part of Europe. The French battle group uh, embedded into uh, Dragon 24 exercise is currently uh, under the orders of the 10th Armed Brigade from Polish Army in close coordination with a German battalion and a Polish tank battalion. This kind of exercise and the anniversary of uh, NATO is important because uh, it's our uh, common guarantee uh, to maintain peace and safety in Europe and uh, it's also a good occasion for us to exchange uh, about training, about the, the, our procedures and to have a concrete, uh, I would say, human and ground knowledge from each other. We, we find good opportunities to uh, learn uh, lessons from our uh, Polish and US and uh, German colleagues because uh, we discover some elements about the wet gap crossing, for example, it was a very, we do also wet gap crossing in France, as you can imagine, but uh, such a level of brigade. This, since the, 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 the beginning of the crisis in Ukraine, I think this kind of exercise are a bit more serious from the top to the to the, the, the private, because everyone understands that it's a key element and that we need to be ready to uh, protect our territories and the territories of our allied you know, on the eastern flank. And also the size of exercise uh, has increased uh, from the, the brigade to division level and Dragon 24 is part of State Fast Defender 24 that is the biggest exercise since the 80s in uh, Europe.